for formal, what you do, you, it, it's called a test bench, but it's not in the traditional sense of generating stimulus. There is no stimulus in formal at all. It's all a mathematical proof. Okay, so it's just an algebraic proof. That's all. Okay, so there's no concept of you know trying wiggling signals up and down and seeing what happens. The tool will actually algebraically prove whether your property is true under all circumstances or not. Okay, so what you have, what we call a test bench here is basically a bunch of SVA properties which we apply different verification directives to. So the properties are described in SVA and the same SVA can be used in simulation. It means the same thing. It's a, de it's a description of design behavior. Asserts are a check, i.e. they pass or fail. So we're checking that property is, is always true under all circumstances. So we'd write this about the internals and the, and the outputs. Covers can target any signal. A cover, I remember, is a demonstration that it's possible for that sequence to occur. Informal, that's what it means. Assumptions constrain the input, so they, they restrict the behavior of the inputs, because if you don't have any assumptions, a formal tool conceptually will apply any value to any signal input at any time. Okay, so basically the inputs can be viewed as random, but very few designs are expected to work with completely random inputs. So you, that's why you need these assumptions.